Hey, 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 Crave Lily Lisa Marie, back again with another video that's Creative Lily Lisa Marie here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. So I am back for another loop group video. And if you've been around these parts for a little bit, you already know what that is. But if you're new, um, our loop group videos are happening now three times a month. This is the loop group that is on the second Wednesday of every month. And then we have a new one starting on the third Wednesday of every month. And then our OG loop group is the last Wednesday of every month. This loop group theme is books. So I have my bookish theme planner here that I'm going to be getting into here in a moment. Just wanted to explain the loop group real quick. Basically, you watch my video if you started here. You go to the description of my video to pick up the link for the next person in the loop. I usually don't say names of who's in the loop after me because sometimes folks have to cancel last minute, you know, for various reasons. So I usually just say, go to my description and check out the next person. However, this uh, loop hopefully is supposed to be Jess is supposed to be the next person in the loop who is Sailor at Plans. And I absolutely adore Jess. I love her energy. I love her enthusiasm. She is so super supportive in the community. She is intelligent. She is articulate. She's creative. Like she's just, she's the whole package. Like she's the whole shebang, like total girl crush, just love her so much. I just really appreciate folks like her in the community. So I'm hoping <laughs> she is also um, traveling a lot. Uh, you should check out her channel. She is so fascinating. And so uploads for her for her videos um, can take quite a bit, unfortunately, because of, you know, internet connection issues and stuff like that. So I am hoping that she is the next in line for our loop. And I really, really, really would appreciate if you would go check out her video, even if you don't have time to watch the whole video. If you watched for at least 30 seconds from what I've read, that gives the content creator a view in case you didn't know. So even if you don't have time to watch everybody's videos, if you could at least give them the 30 seconds to get the view, that is a huge help. If you could like the video, that's great. If you could comment, even better. And if you could subscribe to their channel, you are aces. So basically, if you can go to Jess's uh, video next, then you would go to the description of her video and check out the next person after that. Then you circle the whole loop of checking out everyone's book themed videos. If you get back to my video, you've completed the loop if you started with my video. So that's basically how it works. I also don't like to say how many people are in the loop because again, sometimes folks might have to cancel last minute, unfortunately. So I also don't want to intimidate people with <laughs> how many people might be in the loop because we actually do want you to all participate with us in these loops. And these loops are just like, if you know me at all, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on in my life and my life is very difficult in many different ways. And I have had a lot of challenges the past four years and I have debilitating anxiety. The list goes on. I have so much going on, but I keep my plate super full with a ton of distractions, including the loop videos. So these loop videos mean a lot to me and they have been really popular, hence why I created a third loop group. Um, I also have an Instagram Reel tag team over on Instagram, which is real based obviously, hence the name. Those drop on the first of every month. So I have something going on in the planner community, social media wise, for at least every week of the month, which is so super exciting. And I appreciate any and all of you for being on this journey with me. So let's get started. So this is my bookish theme planner. I would like to someday when I have time and energy, I have no idea when that'll be, uh, to create my own 
pretty bookish planner like Bujo style or whatever and I have notebooks to do that with eventually someday <laughs> um, but for now uh, what worked best for me was a dated planner and I happened to pick this one up because if you know me at all my favorite color is teal and I had to get the teal disc now I've been um, saying for a while now that I don't uh, like happy planner isn't my go-to planner wise however they do have certain elements that I am realizing that I do really appreciate uh, as far as what works for best for me in my life right now I'm not going to apologize for that it is what it is and I'm going to do what works best for me because it's my life it's my money and whatever I choose to do is what I choose to do um, however the discs are always helpful because um, you can use multiple kinds of inserts and use just the discs. So even if you're not using a happy planner per se, the discs are super essential for being able to print out your own printables and use them with the discs um, and having that ability to take things out per the discs. So I had gotten this for a really good deal. I didn't know Amazon has coupons for items, but there was a coupon for this planner on Amazon. So I got it at a really good price. And again, I had to get the teal disc. Um, since it's Bridgerton themed and it says dearest reader, I was like, well, this has to be my bookish planner if I'm doing something, you know, dated this year. And again, teal, this cover, it's your year to shine. If you know me at all, I am a huge proponent and lover, like obsessed with stars and shining bright and <laughs> I'm one of those people that people love to hate. So I have a lot of um, adversity in my life <laughs> as far as um, groups of people because of my personality. And like, I know who I am. I like who I am. I love who I am. I appreciate what I bring to the table. And I try to, I strive to help others do the same. And a lot of people don't like that or appreciate that for whatever reasons. But anyway, I think life is definitely about shining in some way, shape or form. I just love so many different things about this planner and I'm really enjoying using it. I have this beautiful bow marking my page. This is from Duchess Gem Studios. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I've already got my candle lit. I got my calendar here if I need it. I got my gorgeous nameplate here. I got the beautiful music playing in the background, which hopefully you can hear. I'm obsessed with this playlist. I have a focus playlist now on YouTube if you're interested in any of the music that I play. Um, this is Sweet Spring in Outdoor Lakeside. It's absolutely amazing. I love this music so much. Okay, so I wanted to do something really creative for this video, this book-themed video. However, I have not been feeling well at all the past, like, three days. I've been fighting off a panic attack for over 48 hours going into 72 hours and I am absolutely drained, defeated, and I'm just severely worn out. <laughs> I, I haven't had to fight off a panic attack in this long in a while and I keep getting like the shakes and I'm just really like um, weak. And I was gonna actually go ahead and just do this spread and just show you the end result so my video wasn't super long. So if I get really tired halfway through this, I might stop the video, finish the spread, and just show you the finished product. But I wanted to at least show you what I'm using and, you know, all that good stuff. So I have my book scripts here from Robin's Planning Nest, who I am a rep for. For any of the links for the shops that I represent, I highly encourage you to click on one link in my description, which is my link tree. Instead of linking all the shops, I just want to focus on getting people to click on that link tree link because it lists all the shops, my discount codes, my affiliate links. It just makes it easier, I feel like, because it's <laughs> honestly, I'm so freaking busy, y'all. It's less work for me to have to pull all this information out to put in the description. <laughs> so if you just click on my link, link tree link, you can see all the small shops I support, whether I have a discount code, a rep code, an affiliate link, an affiliate code, like I have it all listed right there and it's in alphabetical order. 
Um, I try to make it real simple. So again, I am a rep for Robin's Playing Nest. I do have a rep code, Lisa20, and it's L lowercase ISA20 for 20% off. And I have an affiliate link. So I would really appreciate if you went to my link tree and used my affiliate link because that actually helps me out and the discount code helps you out. And then just an FYI, Robin's Playing Nest has new releases coming out this Friday. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you're interested. But she has a bunch of different scripts. She has more scripts than this. These are just the book scripts I have. So I wanted to put these to the side to use. And then I am using a kit from Sammy Lynn Planning. I'm just going to flip through it real quick. I did haul this previously. Um, but I have the Disney Princess Belle here. Which I thought was great for the book theme. Right? And we're going into spring. So we got these beautiful yellow colors. I mean, look at this, y'all. So that's the washi page. You can get these pages a la carte or the whole kit. I am also a rep for Sammy Lynn Planning. My code is Lisa Marie 15 for 15% off. No special link. So she's on Etsy. But if you go to my link tree, there is a link that you can click on for her website. And these are just stunning. I mean, look how good this looks. <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh. And I was like, I need to use these. And I'm just like, I'm going to use them now. I mean, look at the library sticker. Like... It's so perfect. So I might not use all these. Like I want to use the library ones, obviously where she has a book, the rose, that one. Um, but I might save these four uh, for um, another spread. And then I do plan to use this washi and I'll probably use those too. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So I kind of have dashboard. Oh, I, and I love the deco boxes, so I'll be using these too. I have kind of a system of how I do the dashboard, even though it's not my favorite layout. But I love the script on here. I love the spine. I've actually been decorating based off of the spine, like not covering it up. I know a lot of people hate that, but I like to do things outside the box and I'm not a follower. <laughs> so like, I don't freak out about that. Like if I want a neutral planner, then that's what I'll use. But for these types of things, I just make it work for me. And I just find things that work with all this. So I don't have to spend a lot of extra time changing a planner. Now I know a lot of folks get planners and change elements because they have it for whatever reason. But because of time, ooh, because of time being such an issue for me right now, because I'm so freaking busy, um, I need more things that are already working as they are, if that makes sense. So, okay, so here's something funny. I won't cover up the march because I absolutely love that font. I typically never put the big washi up here at the top, but I wanted to use both. And <laughs> this is a crown, so that goes on the head, right? And then you have the shoes, which go on the feet. And even though this isn't a person, I feel like the crown should be on top and the feet should be on the bottom. <laughs> because you know what? I'm special. I'm special like that. I'm special. Ooh. <sighs> Look how, and I feel like this music goes really well with the theme too. Oh, so I was saying I wanted to do something like really um, creative and awesome because it's a book themed theme, but I've just been so under the weather from this anxiety and it's worse leading up to my cycle. That's why it's really bad right now, but it's just, I already have debilitating anxiety. So when I get close to my cycle, it's almost unbearable. It's, it's pretty bad. Like I have to actually literally fight to breathe and it's pretty miserable. Um, so anyway, uh, I didn't have, oh my gosh, I didn't have the time or energy to do anything like, um, super creative or not that this isn't being creative, like the theme or the spread that I'm doing, but um, I was gonna do something like fun, cool and different. Like I had ideas in my head. 
I just never like, when I do these lube videos, y'all, I could film ahead of time, but I don't. I like to, I'm weird. I like to wait till kind of the last minute because sometimes I work better under pressure. So that's when I'll come up with really good ideas. <laughs> But then it backfired because I'm not feeling well. So not that this can't be good or anything, but okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and use all of these. Oh my gosh. I love this music so much. And I love, I am obsessed with this yellow, with this green <laughs> in like the gold kind of like vibe. And it's vintage. That's one thing I love about this planner is it's total vintage vibes. So some of the spreads I've done in here, which if you check out my Instagram page, you'll see what I'm talking about. I've been doing some like vintagey vibe type of style spreads and uh, I've just been freaking loving them. And I love Disney. I love Disney princess. Like and, you know, this is Happy Planner. They're known for their Disney stuff. So even though the kit is from Samuel and Planning, um, Happy Planner has a lot of Disney items. So I kind of feel like all of this just goes hand in hand. It kind of just feels like it was meant to be, you know? I mean, I picked out the kit and I bought it. I mean, I have a discount code because I'm a rub. But, you know what I mean? I, uh purposely got the kit for my book did you see how that samuel Lynn sticker came up without ripping and it's happy planner paper um i really wish i just thought of this i'm gonna ask ann ann is the owner of samuel Lynn planning the her shop is actually named after her kids um I'm going to reach out to her and see if she can do some hobo kits in these styles because I use a Hobonichi planner, which is also on my YouTube page. And that would be so awesome. She's already done the art for all this, though, so I don't know if she'll go back. But I can at least throw it out there and maybe next time or something. Okay, I have some thinner washies here. I'm going to go ahead and use those as well. This just doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> um, and I don't, I'm going to probably, you know, be touching up this video. I say I don't edit my videos. The only editing I do is touching up the video so you can see what I'm doing. Um, see as in like brighten the video if it needs it or whatever. Like touch it up basically. Um, so I have kind of a low light going right now because if you saw the beginning of my video, I actually shared how pretty it is outside. So I actually have the door open behind me right now to what I showed you at the beginning of the video. Yoda is to the left of me on his chair, which I also included. <laughs> my little yo-yo. Um... Oh, so when it's really nice out like this, I hate, hate having the bright neon lights on up above me. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm at the hospital. And it's so nice out, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do, like, low light, and then I'll just brighten it as needed. But that kind of goes with the vintage vibe, right? <laughs> so I just think that's awesome. Okay. All right, so this is probably all I'm using on this. I could use the bows and put it... Maybe I'll do that, actually. Let me see. Let's see if I like it. And like I said in my last video, this takes as long as it takes as far as planning. I'm not... I'm tired of feeling like I have to rush through videos because they're going to be too long. Like, I mentioned this in my... In one of, I don't even remember which one it was, but one of my last loop videos, I was like, you know, if people want to support you, they'll support you regardless of how long a video is. I, I love, love, love long videos. So all you people out there who actually hear this, who are worried about that, do the long videos. I actually appreciate them and want them um, because they are super convenient for me. I don't want to put that there because I don't want to cover up the 2024, so I'm just going to skip this. Um, so yeah, I 
am just gonna have the video take as long as it takes. And if people want to support me and watch the whole thing, great. If not, oh well. <laughs> you can't make anybody do anything they don't want to do. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite pages from Sammy Lynn Planning Kits. I love the days of the week and the numbers, which is great for the monthly. I don't use... When I have numbers like this for a weekly, I don't use them because it's a waste. What are you going to do with the rest of those numbers when they're color coded and a whole week is missing? Like I hate, <laughs> I can't do it unless I have, okay. So like a shop that I am a rep for the right place plans. I actually asked her to create her numbers on a page by themselves from her kits. So all the numbers matched. So that way we would always have enough numbers if we got those sticker sheets that had the extra numbers on them because I just I don't understand using a week of these and then not using the rest and most of us are only doing a week at a time for a kit now sometimes I just use the kit mainly for a monthly and then I use the extras for a weekly but the good news is with this whole kit that you get from Samuel and Planning, you can easily do a monthly and a weekly. And I've actually shown that on my Instagram page as well, if you want to check that out. Dashboard style is not my favorite, like I said, but I love putting that weekend sticker. And I line up the K with the line there. I think that's so cute. Okay, and I usually do the days of the week before I do that, but I forgot. Isn't this music great? Since I like this font, I'm actually okay with not covering up the numbers anyway. And I also love the checklists, the bows, and the arrows on this page. Now this page I will actually get duplicates of to go with my kits where I've gotten the full kit. So that way I can keep creating more spreads that have the numbers and the uh, weekdays. So in that case, if you got a bunch of those, then you wouldn't have to worry about using the numbers for a weekly. But I'd like to have this for, you know, doing at least one monthly. And then if I do, and when I do get the extra, I can use the numbers for the week if I want and not have to worry about running out. If that makes sense. Yeah, looking at time, we're not doing too bad, but... So like with the YouTube videos, I've done YouTube videos that were like, you know, less than 10 minutes long. Average view time is like 2 minutes and 36 seconds. So no matter how long or short your video is, just for anybody who's worried about that, if you look at the metrics of your numbers, most people don't watch your whole video. There's some creators out there that, you know, they have a good support system and folks, I guess, you know, really like what they're creating or they have both. Um, so they get those folks to, or they have folks that will watch their videos start to finish. But for most of us, that's not the case. So the ratio of our watch hours to, um, views and likes and whatnot, that's why it takes so long to get monetized because, um, most of us can't get the watch time. Like I'm getting closer to the thousand followers, but it's going to, I don't think I'll ever get to the watch time to be monetized, to be honest with you. No matter how hard I work, no matter how much engagement, no matter how much I support others, I don't think I'll ever get there. But I love creating these anyway, because like I said, they're a really good distraction. So I'm going to keep doing it. Because it makes me happy. I'm really tempted to put another one right here. Oh, oh my god, I totally forgot. Um, so I had this new I I have this new notepad. It's a bookish notepad. I got another one too. It's right here. I love them so much. They're like, oh my gosh. This is from Emily Cromwell Designs. I have more on the way from her shop, obsessed. So I did a little pre-planning um of book information for this week to write down and 
if I stayed on, I was going to write everything down or write everything down, show you at the end, or I might just not and just write it in later. But I actually have, like I have that I signed up for the book of the month. Um, when it shipped, I joined a book club. It starts in April. I need to set up my TBR and book challenges in here. I won a virtual book on Goodreads called Why You're Unhappy, Biology versus Politics. Um, and then these are book suggestions that I came across that I took screenshots of and then made a list. So You Like It Darker by Stephen King. He's my favorite author ever. Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. That's not my name. Oh, that's supposed to be Megan. I don't know how I missed that. That bugs me. I gotta add in the N. <laughs> I got my paper mate flare here. How did I do that? Megan Lally. I don't think it's Lolly, but I think it's Lally. I actually haven't uh, heard of her books before. Um, I saw someone recommend that. And then these were all recommendations. And then I knew this was coming. Uh, this is Worthy by Jamie Kern Lima. And then I entered two bookstagram giveaways on IG. And then also on Instagram, I changed my book group chat that was based on one book that I was trying to read. I changed it to all books group chat. So if you're interested in joining my uh, Instagram book chat, let me know. So these were the items I wanted to include in this spread. And I just thought this worked out so well for like, I have um, my Moxie Life goal planner that I do pre-planning in. I just figured that out just now. I've had that planner, this is like my third or fourth year. And I just now realized that I could use all of the weekly pages as pre-planning pages. And I just write down a bunch of stuff to keep track of and it's been so helpful y'all oh my gosh i might actually do a video on it to show i don't know where i want to oh that looks cute i don't think i've done that yet oh my gosh that's so cute <laughs> okay well that solves that um and i usually like to put the paper clips got my favorite these are my favorite tweezers i have a couple pairs of them I don't know why I just and then I just realized recently I mentioned this in a video, video recently I just realized that flipping them over they work better and I used to do them like this but flipping them over you can hold things better like when you're uh, positioning them oh look at that spread the bows out with the colors oh that's so cute I usually like to say pretty or beautiful, not cute. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? This is like a funny pet peeve of mine. I hate when I see something that's like, or even when I create something that's like beautiful or pretty, right? Like, I don't know. Like, it's like florals. It's something obviously like pretty, beautiful. Like, like this is pretty or beautiful. I wouldn't say this is cute. But I hate it when people say things like this are cute when they're like pretty or beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a pet peeve of mine, which hopefully someone doesn't comment on this video and say my video was cute just to try and get on my nerves. So if you like me, don't do that. <laughs> if you do it anyway, then I'm going to know you don't like me. And that's not very nice. Okay, um, I usually like the idea of a flower like growing out of the ground, but this is like in a like terrarium type thing. And oh my gosh, look how good it looks here. <laughs> I think I did that crooked, but I don't care. Beth, if you're watching this, embrace the crookedness. I'm leaving it. Okay, she's kind of the pinnacle with the book. So I'm going to put her in like the... Where do I want to put her? Shoot. <sighs> okay, library at the bottom. And then spiraling. Uh, 
Oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't have y'all zoomed in super close because I have so much going on here. So I wanted y'all to be able to see most of what I'm doing without having to worry about that. I feel like, okay. I kind of like when I have them like this that all the boxes offset each other a little bit. But then I'm like, I'm using, I'm saving the rest of those. I might use these bow boxes. I'm obsessed with these bow boxes from Sammy Lynn Planning. And you can actually get different colorways of these on sticker sheets by themselves. Okay, she's reading. See, she's kind of the pinnacle with the book since it's book themed. Um, oh, oh no, oh no. Eek. I'm in decision paralysis and then, oh, thank goodness for Samuel Lamb planning stickers. Oh my gosh, it's happening again. This happened last time I used a kit. The stickers kept lifting up. Alright. Um, I can't figure out where I want to put her. Because <laughs> I think I'll put this one on the other side. Um. Oh my gosh, I'll be here all day if I don't make a decision about this. I kind of like... I kind of like how that blends in. I should have done this differently, but that's all right. I could try and lift them. I could try and do this as like a double scene, but it's a bookcase, so... Or, I mean, it's got stairs. So it kind of wouldn't make sense. Not that it really matters. In your planner, you can do whatever you want. It's like a book, right? It takes you away to a magical place. By the way, if you watch this video from start to finish, you're a real one. And I super appreciate it. I appreciate any and all support. But, you know. Oh, nice thing about long videos too, by the way, in case you didn't know. These are great to put on the background when you're like trying to get cleaning done. Like if you see the length of a video and you go... <gasps> Oh my gosh, you know what I could get done in that amount of time? That's how I look at it. Like, I listen and watch a lot of um, YouTube videos while I'm planning. And... Um, uh, like, if I look at the length, I'll be like, Oh, I could get this spread done in the amount of time that I'm, you know... Listening and watching this video or doing something around the house or, you know, whatever it is. So I love that idea. Okay. I can't even tell what that image is, I think. It looks like a prince. <laughs> I can't tell. This is a slipper. I'm trying to save some of these boxes to go with those other boxes that um, I didn't use. So I can use it for another... Uh, spread look how good that looks that deco box in between see how that came together <laughs> so good okay i think i might have to put these other deco boxes on this side because like i said i don't usually double the washi so i have a little less room here which actually isn't bad but okay i'm tempted to put her right here with this one i think that'll be really pretty And it might be crooked again, but I don't care. It's all good. Okay, we have slippers there. We can do another. Yeah, I'll just do another box with her here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, y'all. Oh, this is coming out so good. Okay, I do want to use all these bow boxes, so I'm going to take these off. So I'm done with the washi sheet. I used up the whole washi sheet. And then I have that other sheet. I have this sheet still. Um, so I'm saving that. 
And then I'll have these as well. Less the bow boxes when I take them off. Oh, a bunch of stuff sticking to each other. Oh, you know what? I think I might want to mix a darker one over there. Okay. Um, oh, wait, checklist. And then I already got bows there. Okay. Um, I don't like to put too many bows with too many bows. I have this sticker stuck to me, so let's get on my nerves. All right, look. I'm like um, Edward Bowhands. Look, Edward Bowhands. Look, I'm going to do it. Hold on. If anybody watches this movie, oh, movie, <laughs> if anybody watches this YouTube video and you, well, if you heard this part, then I still won't know if you got to the end, but you should, well, don't mention it because then other people mention it and they'll think it means something. <laughs> I think people see people comment stuff and then they mention it because they think it means something, <laughs> which I think is funny. Like, they don't actually watch the whole video to see what or why people are mentioning that. They just put it out there because they assume it means something, like I said. Okay, I really want this here. Ooh. I really want it near this one, though. Oh, you know what? And I have a library hold sticker, and I was like... I can't really use the library hold sticker because I don't go to the library in person, but I do the virtual library, so I can. And I forgot to put on my list that I did put more books on hold in uh, Libby. So, that just reminded me because of this library sticker. Oh, so since this is a book themed loop group, if you want, let me know in the comments um, if you're reading any good books, what's your favorite book you've read so far of 2024? Do you like reading? If you do like reading, what are your favorite types of books? Um, I think I'm gonna use I want to use at least one more over here. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, this is far enough away. Yeah, so tell me all the book things. Have you been in a book club before? Do you like book clubs? If so, what do you like about them? Do you like going to the library? Do you like reading online better? Uh, like virtually, like online? Or do you like audiobooks? I still haven't been able to get into audiobooks that much, unfortunately. Um, I think the big thing is the voice, probably. It would be helpful if I did audiobooks, though, since I'm so busy. Because it would be like listening to a YouTube, right? YouTube video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw these on here. Oh, no, I'm going to use the other ones first. Okay. I'm going to go through and add these boxes in. These are going to give some pops of color. And like I said, I'm not feeling that great, so... Oh, man. I'm kind of out of it right now. I'm glad I'm making it through this as well as I am, though, to be honest. I was kind of worried if I'd be able to handle it or not. This music's really relaxing me. And, you know, book theme stuff relaxes me. I love talking about books. That's why I want to know everything in the comments about the book stuff. I like chatting about all the book things. So share your book things with me. Because I don't want to know. Especially, like, if you have um, a book you've read so far that you really like. Definitely want to know about that. 
I love uh, getting book recommendations from folks. I'll change my mind how I wanted to do this. And I could have done this for next week, but um, I had a lot of book stuff happen this week. <laughs> um, so I wanted to focus on that. Oh my gosh, everything is... <sighs> Actually, I don't... Oh, yeah, I guess I could put it right there. Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought this color scheme was interesting with the brown. And the red. But I guess it goes uh, with the whole theme. I just, it's so crazy how good small shops are that they can make these colors go together. Like colors you wouldn't think would normally go together. Like look, red, green, yellow, and brown. <laughs> like that would not be an automatic colorway I would be drawn to, but since it's Belle and it's Disney, and I am, some stickers I do want to lay down kind of straight, especially when it's like super obvious that it's crooked. <laughs> That was driving me nuts. I didn't want to put too much brown. I want. I usually like to break up the colors, but I have that brown there already. I could switch all that out, but I'm not going to bother with it. I am not going to bother with it. Okay. Um, I don't like how that is. Oh. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Oh, I just heard a uh, goatee. They get, they walk on the road. The clip I showed at the beginning with the trees and everything, there's a road out there on the hill leading up the mountain. And the goats go up and down that all the time. So they go by here all the time, which is fun. Okay, I don't like that either. Um, oh, you know what? I, <sighs> I have that big one there. I have a lot of checklists. Oh, I don't have one down here. I don't really have room though. That's okay. Um, yeah, I screwed the, I screwed the, I screwed this up. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll do this here and then I'll move the yellow one. I uh, messed up the, I messed up how I put this stuff down, but that's okay. I can make adjustments in some of it to make it work. All right, I'm gonna move this down so it's closer to this box. All right, there we go. Oh, and I have, I still have these two. And I have, see, I have more of these that I can use with that other spread. And that other spread, since I have um, the numbers, I can do a monthly. And I got a couple of checklists. And I got all these dots. And oh, I forgot I want to use a tr habit tracker. It's a habit tracker for reading. I usually like to put this over here too. So I'm going to. I have that checklist there. I don't want to mess this up because I love the way that looks. Oh, maybe I can just put it over here. I don't want to have that little... I might not use these. I might save these for the monthly, actually. Or wait. I don't want to put that there. Usually if I use one, I, I want to use the other. Because <laughs> I like how they offset each other for these two boxes. But you know what? I think it actually looks better without it. Like, usually when I do these spreads, I fill them in a lot. But um, I'm not typically one to say sometimes less is more. 
even though that is true sometimes, I guess, but that's not how I live my life. <laughs> if I want to use something, I use it. And I don't feel bad about it. Oh. Actually, you know, I don't even know if I want to use the arrows or not. I might... I kind of want to keep this more classic. Not that the arrows can't be classic, but I think I might save those for a monthly or another spread. And let's see. This is like a book. So since this is like a book tracker, put that right there. And then I always like to put the coffees on Mondays and Fridays. Because <laughs> I'm special like that. Oh, but that's... Okay, I'll do Saturday. Because I like to offset, not do everything on the same side. I like it right there. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, you know what? I might... Let me see if I want to use a couple of these hearts for like a checklist here. I can only fit three of them, I think, but it's really cute. It's a good way to cover up those squares there. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. I kind of want to put some stars. If you know me at all, you know I want to put stars everywhere. I just filled this in with stars. <laughs> oh, actually, I should put them up here. Actually, I shouldn't. So I'm going to be putting some scripts there anyway. I'll, I'll put a star here. And one right there. That's how I'm going to put them in. And then one right here. I guess that's taken away from kind of the classic look I wanted to use by using this style with it. Oh. Happy Mail. Or uh, the Book of the Month stuff. Um... And I should be getting that, actually. I really like that the way that is, so. Actually, maybe I won't. Oh. There we go. This is kind of taken away from that classic look, but... Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my scripts... This video isn't going to be as long as my other one that was long. So that's good. Hopefully. Shouldn't be. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, Alright, so... That's coming, so I'm going to put that there. I've already kind of talked through a lot of this stuff, so I just kind of want to put this stuff down. Because the video is already long enough. Not that I... <laughs> I said earlier I didn't want to have to rush, but you know what I mean. I've... Uh, I think I've gone over quite a bit in this video, actually. This actually went a lot better than I expected. <laughs> As far as, like, how everything looks and everything I talked about and... Um... Oh, that's not going to be... I need to... Actually, I don't think I'm going to use the book review one yet. I put a book review on a previous spread. I haven't finished that book yet, but I'll just go back to that spread to give it the review since I had marked it on that one. And then I'm considering the bookstagram a couple of different things I do. So I'm going to actually use that more than once. If you want to know more about how I use the bookstagram stickers, just ask me in the comments and I can explain it there instead of <laughs> taking the time to do it here. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and do that up 
here as well. Oh, and then I'm going to use this book talk one. If you want to know how and why I'm using the book talk one, if you're even at this point in the video, then go ahead and drop it in the comments. And then I'm going to do my currently reading. It's cool how uh, Robin did these separately, so you can use the currently and the reading separately. I'm going to go ahead. Oh. Actually. Shoot. <laughs> kind of wish they were together though well if they were together um I think she does it separately too since it's like it would be one really long word if it was um if it wasn't separated so since she has it separated see how I did that I'll show you up close when I show you the spread when I'm done but I can maneuver those two words to fit oh this is so pretty and then the library holds like i said oh she did that for this one too this will be for libby sometimes i will put a script down here but right up here fyi oh you know what i'll put this here not every script has to go inside a box. Because I got the checklist here. And not all of this is day specific. So I don't have to worry about that. I do have library run here, but I don't need this right now. I could just use library because she does have this separated. And I could use run for something else. And then I said I wanted to set up... Um, I have these nice reading stickers, but I just put the currently reading down and I have the to be read here, which she did in two different styles. Um, I want to set up a TBR so I can do that right here. And I like that star sticker there. Shoot. <laughs> Tuesday to be read. Oh, how good is that? I guess I could just put it right here like this just take up one of those spots okay and then this is my book review okay um that is it folks i have a pen here to write in stuff but i'm just gonna do that off camera since i've already been on here long enough yeah i'm getting close i'm over 50 minutes now okay so this is my beautiful bookish themed spread so see this is what i was just talking about the currently reading how i was able to break that up like that and then book club is here and book planning is all through here so i can do that different ways i got book talk to be read bookstagram book haul library holds another bookstagram and so I can write in that stuff I already showed you all, and then I can write in anything else um, for, oh my gosh, did I just do this for the wrong week? Wait, what? I don't even know what today is. <laughs> I swear I did this for the right week. But anyway, I can write in any more I need to, or not. But anyway, yeah, so this is my spread. And I just think it came out so gorgeous. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hardly ever say that, but um, I keep being told that you have to ask people to do things um, if you want them to do them. So I will go ahead and say it. If you will subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you like my video, awesome. If you comment, even better. Um, and if you watch the whole loop, we super appreciate you so, so much. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments. But if not, I will see you in my next loop group video, which for the month of March will be the last Wednesday of March. And the theme for that video will be green. 
So I will see you all then, folks, if I don't see you in another YouTube video before that. Take care, everyone. Bye.